Hello, and welcome to the craft portion of our October Virtual Learning and Homeschool Day, uh, which is themed Voting STL. My name is Sarah, and I'm an educator with the Missouri Historical Society. And today I'm going to be teaching you a craft um, to make your own ballot box. So historically, ballot boxes have been used as a secure way for you to cast your vote. Uh, even though now we vote a lot electronically, there are still ballot boxes where people can fill out their own um, written ballot and put it in that ballot box. So we're going to be making our own today. And what's really awesome about this craft is that you can really get creative with it. You can do as little or as much as you want. And you can do it all with materials you found around your house. Now, I'm lucky that I'm in the Missouri History Museum, so I have access to a lot of different materials. But this is what I was able to find laying around to make our ballot box. So I am starting off with this giant, giant shoe box. Now, normally I would say you could cut a hole in the top for people to slip in their ballots, but I think I'm just gonna leave it so that it opens and shuts. Now, you could cover this entirely in paper to give you a kind of fresh canvas, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I am just going to decorate the top today. So I have this washi tape, which is great because it is biodegradable, and I love plants. So I am going to use this plant washi tape. And I'm just gonna make a little border here down at the bottom. Now you could use this ballot box for so many different things. Um, you could use it to vote on a movie night, a game night, you could use it to pick your next vacation, or really any decision that you want to make with a group of people. So that plant one was a little difficult. I'm going to switch over to my other favorite thing, which is dogs, and put a little bit of the dog washi tape on here. So I'm gonna keep mine kind of simple today, but remember you could get as creative or as simple as you would like. I'm gonna use a little bit of our bedazzled jewels here. And these are really nice because they have the sticky already on them. Now again, I'm in the office, so I was lucky to have access to a lot of these supplies, but you can just use whatever you can find in your house. So for example, if you have, if you find some paper, you could cut your own shapes. So I'm gonna cut a little heart. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine certainly isn't. And then I'm just gonna glue it right on. So you can see we have several different examples where people kind of got a little bit more creative or a little bit more um, kind of put more things onto their voting box. You can see those examples. Now, like I said, I'm keeping mine simple, so I'm going to stop here. But I'm using this ballot box because me and my friends can never decide on a movie. So I'm going to make my own ballot and I am just using scrap paper I found because remember we want to use things that might be going into a landfill, give them a second use. And I'm going to pick the movies we're gonna vote on. So I'm gonna say friends, movie night. And I'm gonna say maybe Moana, maybe the Incredibles. Hmm, and maybe I'll just say let's watch a TV show. That'll be our extra vote. And I'll put in another option because it's always good to have a write-in. So I might make these ballots for each of my friends who are joining me for my movie night. And then we could just simply vote. I think I'm going to vote for Moana. Put it in the ballot, let everybody vote, and then you could count your votes and make the decision that way. So as you can see, this is a very easy craft that you can just do with things you find around your house and you can make it as complicated or as simple as you would like. Thank you so much for joining us for this virtual craft room. Please check out our other crafts as well as our other offerings for our October homeschool day, including our webinars and our gallery stops. We would love to see what you created, so please tag us on social media at hashtag MHSLearn with whatever you've created today. Thank you so much and hopefully we'll see you in person soon.